News that's just coming in from right outside the Deputy Chief Minister Mani Sisodia's house. Massive security has been deployed right outside the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Mani Sisodia's house. Barricades have been put up. Rapid action force has also been deployed. Now this just hours before the CBI is set to question Mani Sisodia in the alleged liquor gate scam. Those visuals on your screens are from... The lane which is right outside Manish Sisodia's house, this is very close to the Supreme Court. You can see the heavy deployment that is taking place. Now a lot of supporters, Amadmi Party supporters are expected to reach. A lot of supporters are expected to reach Manish Sisodia's house to show that they stand with the leader. My colleague Ashutosh is now joining me on the phone line on the story. Ashutosh, it looks like it will not be very easy for the police uh, uh, for the CBI, in fact, uh, you know, to question Manish Sisodia and to not uh, see the supporters right outside the headquarters, it seems like a lot of leaders and a lot of supporters are looking at accompanying Manish Sisodia to the CBI headquarters today. Well, officially by the party, no such mega showdown has been planned yet. However, we have seen last time because that time was literally almost uh, you know road show from uh, their residence to the CBI headquarters. But this time, there is no such call given by the party to gather at any particular place. But however, since maybe particularly from his own constituency, certain MLAs, the MPs, and of course the minister may reach his residence to offer and extend uh, the support. What we know, the 10.45, Manisha Sodhya will be leaving his house for uh, CBI headquarters. Last time we have seen that uh, he sought uh, exemption from appearance, citing the budget preparation. I think that has been uh, almost uh, prepared and the final shape is being given and that will be tabled in the Delhi Assembly in the first week of March. So for now we are uh, waiting. Is there any further letter that he's going to write? But so far there is no such information. And of course, uh, no gathering, as you said rightly, is expected. But that's not called by the party. But so far what we are seeing, the arrangement that is being uh, placed at uh, Sisodia's residence and Amarni party's headquarters. Subsequently, in the entire Lutheran zone, multiple divergences are uh, being placed because of the marathon happening. So we have to see whether, uh, you know, he is further seeking any exemption uh, because the first week, what we know from the sources that there will be assembly session called and the budget is need to be tabled. But for now, what it looks like that he's going up here, there were apprehensions being raised that after seeking exemption, he might uh, approach court seeking anticipatory bail. But that was the information passed on here today that I, I reported that he will not seek any um, uh, anticipatory bail from the court because there should not be any counter narrative. Uh, that look, he is feeling sense of guilty and that's exactly why he's seeking anticipatory bail. So for now, right, all eyes at 10.45 when he'll be reaching uh, to the CBI headquarter for questioning. Joining me on the broadcast now is Shahzad Poonawala, National Spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Shahzad, the Deputy Chief Minister is all set to visit Rajghat also before going and facing the CBI. So do you believe this will be used as optics by the Yam Aadmi Party once again? You know, today is a time when they should be giving answers as to how this entire Sharab Kotala was conducted and how the loss of almost 2,800 crore rupees was caused and why the Sharab Kotala took place. So instead of doing that, to go and uh, do this kind of drama, instead of cooperating with the agencies of the law, last time also Mr. Sisodia backed out and did not cooperate, it only shows that they are trying to hide something and this kind of attitude is, uh, is right, Shahzad. Shahzad, Saurabh Bharadwaj is now reacting on the summons that has been sent by the CBI. If you are also reading the children's children, then the party of the Bharatiya Janta Party will not come to the other side, the truth of the truth, the truth of the truth, the truth of the truth. After reading the children, these children will ask the Bharatiya Janta Party to ask the Bharatiya Janta Party, they will ask them, और आने वाले समय में आम आदमी पार्टी ही भारतीय जनता पार्टी को बड़ी चुनौती देगी हमने देखा किस तरीके से दिल्ली के लोगों ने अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के साथ मिलकर भारतीय जनता पार्टी को दिल्ली में हराया एमसीडी में हराया भारतीय जनता पार्टी का 27 साल पुराना किला जो गुजरात में था उसके अंदर सेंध लगाई Shahzad Saurabh Bharadwaj very clearly saying that it will be the Aam Aadmi Party that will defeat the Bharatiya Janata Party. 
Right now, they have to go and answer about the Sharab Ghotala they have done. Every time when the questions are asked about Sharab Ghotala, to take it to Gujarat elections, to take it to some other issue, or to divert the issue, or to play the victimhood card has become the standard operating procedure. The fact of the matter is that 2,800 crore rupee loss was caused, hundreds of crores of rupees were siphoned off and used in elections, and the kingpin of this entire scam was Mani Sisodia and Arvind Kejriwal, as has been revealed by the investigation. But instead of answering the questions, instead of cooperating with the law, we have seen that either they have tried to sabotage the entire inquiry process, they have tried to manipulate it, they have also tried to avoid the questioning like he did last week, and now they are trying to play a victimhood card. The question is that if nothing has been done, then why did you take back the old policy and why did you cancel the new policy? If the, uh, there was no corruption, why is it that you are not answering the specific questions on the Sharab Ghotala that have come out through various sting operations? Why did you increase the commission from 25 to 12 percent? Why is it that you gave the wholesale to the private players? No answers are given on the specific questions. They only make wild claims. You remember the last time the claim made by Mr. Sisodia that CBI officers were asking him to join the BJP? Where is the proof? They had said that 800 crores is being offered for the party MLAs. Where is the audio tape till now? So, you know, making all these kinds of headless claims, but not answering the questions about the Sharab Ghotala only shows that they are guilty of this entire corruption scam and therefore they don't want to answer the questions. Right, Shazad, you are saying they will not be answering the questions, but Mani Sisodia, uh, you know, walk till the Rajghat is also, uh, you know, something that we have seen before the last time when he was called by the CBI. There was almost, it was almost like a road show that will happen. So the party supporters, the leaders are expecting something similar today. You know, this is the first time we are seeing that there is a celebration of corruption. You know, usually people are embarrassed of corruption. These people are celebrating corruption and that too they are linking the name of Mahatma Gandhi ji. Mahatma Gandhi ji was completely against liquor. He was completely against this kind of Sharab and go, Sharab Ghotala. And a person who instead of doing his work as Shiksha Mantri, as Sharab Mantri opened up thekas in every mall, not schools in every mall, is today doing celebration of his corruption. I think this is the most shameful a picture that could have been presented to the people of Delhi, they are anyway suffering and they are anyway regretting that what kind of people have got elected in the MCD elections and now they are yet again going to regret that this is the kind of government they have in Delhi and soon they are going to change it. Thank you, Shahzad. Shahzad Punawala, BJP spokesperson, telling us that uh, the walk by Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia will be a kind of celebration of corruption by the Aam Party.